Okay guys, today I am gonna play Brawl. Um, I think I'm gonna try to play this at least once a week. I think this is gonna be my Wednesday thing. Um, I'm gonna try to make a new Brawl deck every week. Today is gonna be Nethroy. Um, super fun guy, big reanimation piles, um, just value town altogether. It's super fun deck. So let's get into this. I'm gonna give you guys a chance to actually see the deck. I have a couple decks here that are already that I already play, but I'll give you guys a look at this deck real quick. If you guys don't know what he does, um, he is a big reanimation guy. He loves mutate. He has death touch, life link, five five for five, or you can mutate him for seven, which is super handy. Um, normally you can get him out pretty quick and then mutate other stuff onto him to get value faster. There is quite a few mutate creatures in here to trigger that ability. Um, the return 10 power total is amazing, uh, especially with some of the creatures that we have in here. I'm not going to give you guys a full in-depth look at the list. I will go through it pretty hastily though. So. That guy is just a value town. Then we got um, Shadow Spear, which helps with a lot of stuff. And then we got our two drops. We're going to go through them kind of quickly here. Dire Tactics is actually really cool. Assassin's Trophy, good removal spell. Chevelle, I've been having great luck with that guy, especially as much removal as I have in here. Fiend Artisan, super cool card. Um, absolutely love the art on that. Um, Glow Spore Shaman. Uh, it just helps us get stuff in the bin, um, grabs the land out as well. Skull Prophet, more mana, a little bit of milling. Arcane Signet, good ramp. Then we got Chromatic Lantern, Death's Oasis. That also helps us with putting stuff in our graveyard. Um, utility Creature, really good, especially when you reanimate it multiple times. Necropanther um, to trigger the mutate on Nethroy sometimes. Mortify, just good removal spell altogether. That is one of the best removal spells, especially if you need to take out something that you don't typically like have removal spells for. Um, Broodmoth is amazing. Um, brings your guys back twice, basically. Um, well, not twice. Brings them back an additional time. Um, everything that dies that doesn't have flying will come back to your side of the battlefield. Can trigger more abilities, all kind of stuff like that. Um, good for throwing into the graveyard, getting new cards out, stuff like that. Dirge back, great removal. Um, Guardian Project, amazing. Great Horn, amazing. Soren is one of the key players in here. He is always bringing stuff back, gaining so much life. Um, card advantage, definitely. Um, I've won the game a couple times off that minus nine. Death Sprout, just good removal spell altogether. It gets you a land out of your deck as well. This guy, um, I guess lady, sorry, no, guy. This lady, um, overall amazing, especially when you're able to get in there with some damage and get creatures or planeswalkers out of your graveyard for hitting creatures or er, players or planeswalkers. A little bit more ramp. I can typically get this out on turn three. It does help out a lot. Sarex, super value engine. Cavern Whisperer, just because it mutates really cheap. Um, that discard card doesn't always do all that much, but does sometimes. Bond is amazing, especially when it gains haste with something stupid. Elspeth Conquer's Death, just a really good value card. Still gets stuff out of the graveyard. Fine, Finality, um, definite board wipe half the time. Um, I'm okay with my side getting wiped because I'm so um, focused on the graveyard. Th that helps me more than anything else. Um, getting the two creatures out of the graveyard, very handy. Then we got Athreos, um, very underrated. I absolutely love playing with him. Hopefully you guys will be able to see him before the end of the day. Um, Casualties of War, the one all catch all. Fairy Ultimatum, um, that has made multiple people scoop. I severely enjoy playing the ultimatum. It makes people scoop left and right. Cauldron, more value. Again, I can get most of my creatures out of the graveyard. Um, they have to go there from mill. If they go from the battlefield, they'll go to the bottom of the library, allowing me to recast and recast and recast and recast. Really does help out. Then the land base, pretty basic. Just one-ofs, a lot of stuff. Um, 
Fabled Passage, just the go grab whatever basic land that you need most of the time. So there's the deck. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm going to get queued up. I'm going to go play. I really do like Brawl. It's like Mini Commander. It is a singleton format, just like Commander. Um, one of my favorite formats is definitely Commander. I play Atraxa. I play Brea. Um, I also play Otrini. That's Mutate Commander, which is really super fun. Um, one of my favorites is Axara. It's big X spells matters, make big Hydras come in for a lot of damage. Cast dumb big spells. Hactos is kind of a monster. That guy, every time I've gone against a Hactos deck, I've done pretty good, but it's hard to remove him. It's extremely hard to remove him. I think I'm actually going to keep this. This looks really good. Cauldron to the bottom. They are probably going to have some type of removal spell here. Um, red, white, good for removal. Yep, there you go, Prison Realm. I will have to destroy that later. Matter of fact, I might just use Roscoe to destroy that. It'll get me some more cards in the graveyard. Tactos, the man in the myth of the legend. What does he have protection from? Two, other than two, okay. Um, yeah, let her die. Keep the uh, Triton back. Um, really good blocker for Hactos. Sure. Oh, it does have first strike. I missed that part. Um, yeah, why not? First strike, reach, haste. Yeah, sure. I don't know what the point of that one was, but hey, whatever. Um, let's... let's go one, six, seven, eight. Yeah, just like that. Those three. And then let's go at night. Let's go at night here. Enough. Hmm. Wonder what they're fetching. Fires. <laughs> Yeah, um, target respect for damage to him. Yeah, I'll take it. I'll 
I'll block with the Triton again. It's fine. Yeah, sure. And next turn what we'll do is we'll use a fiend artisan to sacrifice my commander to have him come back on the battlefield from the ability and we'll also get value out. Sure. Well I know that my opponent's not gonna respawn with anything now, because they can only play stuff during their turn. That's the good news. Oh yeah, cool. Yeah, I can take the I can take the damage. from the battlefield you can play it. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm wondering if I should get Hactos off the battlefield. Do I have enough creatures? I have one creature in the graveyard. Um, next, let's send the, d the dude. I love it when the dog does that. Um, decline and just leave in the graveyard. Dissolve all. And then... Let's just do this. Let's take away your, your value. Oh, okay. That was kind of a short one. We only got six lands out. Let's play another one real quick. I actually really do like Brawl. Um, as I was saying, that I play Commander like crazy. Um, tomorrow at my LDS, we're going to be playing Commander. Oh, super sweet. I'm excited. Um, yeah, it's good enough. Yaruk is actually one of my favorite commanders. My other deck, as you guys seen probably, um, was Yaruk. Fiend Arson can always stay. That guy's amazing. Deep in the tank. There we go. Oh, yeah. Cool. Absolutely. Get 
get in some early damage. Once the Yarok uh, value train gets turned online, it's really, really, really difficult to get out of. Black, green, let's get a second white source. Yep. And then... Next turn we'll play a Nethroid. Atris is super cool. Um... Yeah, let's just do that. Let's see if he takes the one of the two. Unfortunately, it was all three lands, so... Not too much you could do with that. Next turn, I think we're gonna kill off the Glow Spore Shaman for an X4. See what we can get for X4. Epic Down Ball. Uh, take action. Sure, I'm gonna get in for the. Oh, okay. Put that out. Put that out. And then. What? I wonder if they have removal. Not for one green. Um, actually, let's save that. I think we're going to do the same thing that they did for us. We'll send their commander back to the command zone. Wasn't expecting that. Um, let's just take out the Arcane Signal in response. Huh. Okay. I haven't put anything new in here in a while. I definitely need to put a her uh, heroic intervention in here to protect against stuff like this. Monster can say. Okay. Um. Yeah, let's just go. Hopefully they don't have too much removal. Looks like they're staying up on cards. Looks like I'm not. E2 extinction. They're going to have a crap ton of removal, I guess. I guarantee he's my sixth land.
Um, I'm just gonna say good game to this. I don't feel like playing against getting all my lands taken. So. It's a shame of it. That happens sometimes. They did get some pretty decent ramp out of there. So. I got value in the last one. They definitely got value in this one. I think I'm gonna cut the video there, but um, I'm gonna start using my outro a little bit more. So I'm gonna say strike that anvil. That means subscribe, like, and comment on my videos. Eventually I'm not gonna have to say that. I'm just gonna say strike the anvil and I'm gonna have a lot of people be like, oh, what does that mean? It's gonna be super cool. Um, I'll also have an animation for it eventually, which is going to make me really happy. So, um, a lot of stuff is in the works, and I'm trying to hit that 100 um, subscriber mark before the end of the month. I gained 45 subscribers in nine, no, 10 days now. Um, so, I know it's doable, but I definitely need your guys' help to do it. Um, I'm getting a camera coming in here soon. I'm getting, I'm probably going to get some lighting and stuff like that. My wife is going to paint some cool stuff for the wall. But you guys should definitely uh, chime in and suggest stuff. A lot of my stuff is going to be by suggestion. I make a lot of decks as is, but I would like to see what you guys want. And I will start doing some of that. I'm always going to have my graveyard stuff. I'm always going to have um, just cool synergy and stuff like that. But I would like to know what you guys want to see personally. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Thank you very much.